Good morning, ICC and friends. Good morning. Uh-oh, I didn't say good morning, choir. I only heard the choir. Good morning, ICC and friends. Good morning. Good morning. Are you fresh this morning? Yes. Yes. Are you ready to be entertained, to praise God, to dance and to sing? Yes. Yes. It's so good to see you all this morning. And um, whenever we sing, feel free to dance, sing along if you know the song. And we're just here actually to just celebrate Christmas, to celebrate the birth of Christ, to celebrate the gift of love, the gift of sharing, and fellowship together. Amen? Amen. Amen. Friend of 
being here in our midst. We thank you for sending Jesus during this season and helping us to understand that he's brought to this world and brought entrance into peace and, and good life for each one. We thank you, Jesus, that you came and you died, and not only in this season can we remember you, but you said you'll be with us forever. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for giving us the understanding, opening our eyes. And I pray that this morning you will come in a very special way to touch the lives of people around and draw us closer to your presence. We appreciate that you are here. We are so thankful for this wonderful time we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for your attention. Just before we carry on with the choir, turn around to the person next to you, give them a high five and say, it's going to be a good day. That's it. Now, at the same time while you're giving your high five, can I invite you all to stand up and sing the next song with us? Oh, come all ye faithful.
important that uh, we also take time today before we come to the next piece just to do something very simple. This church is a church that is made up of so many different nationalities. So every once in a while, it's nice just to do a quick count as to how many nationalities we have in our mix. So, uh, just quickly, I want to have a guess from every one of you. Can anybody guess how many nationalities we have here today? 50 is one guess. 40 is another guess. 30 is another guess. 50 is another guess. I'm going to start now with the choir themselves who are standing up here before we come to you. Just to get a little idea how many nationalities are here right now. It's going to be interesting. I'm just going to ask them to shout the country they come from and of course the same country we will not count. But as they shout the country, you give me the count. Are you ready? We will start with the person who is behind the drum in the red shirt. Just shout your country. See? 
Now a short, small story, after which we shall have again another song by Farida, and we will just prepare for that. The story is about Christmas, and the story is about what is happening around us today. I don't know about you, but personally, I think that many people feel like what I'm feeling today. People are tired of religion. How many of you honestly can say, I'm tired of religion? Can I see your hands? Thank you for joining me. <laughs> Thank you for joining me because religion around the world today, it really is quite messed up, quite confusing. Not all of it, but uh, when you hear the word religion and re religious extremist, we get tired and exhausted about it. I want to share with you a story, a very simple story about um, the gospel, but this time you're not going to hear the gospel in the manger and the gospel in Bethlehem, but you're going to hear the gospel in IT. This is probably the first time you're going to hear the IT gospel. This gospel story is about once upon a time, a man invented a computer. This was probably one of the best computers ever invented. It was perfect. It had everything that you need in this computer. It was a wonderful computer, and it had software inside that manages all the programs you ever need to live in. So this computer was made, and it was perfect, and it was wonderful, but there was a problem. The problem was that when the creator was finished with this beautiful hardware and software, an enemy came and planted some virus in the software. That's unfortunate. Now, how many of you have a computer? How many of you have two computers? <laughs> okay, how many of you have a phone, a telephone? Or maybe a smartphone? How many of you have a stupid phone? No, no, no. Okay, some phones are supposed to be smart, but they don't work. <laughs> They're stupid. Anyway, this software 
has not only destroyed the program, the way it's supposed to function, this, software, this virus actually had destroyed the software, it's also going to eventually destroy the hardware, meaning the whole computer is actually going to be finally destroyed. It was now on a timeline where it's going to be finally gone, this whole hardware. In the meantime, men, people who were using it, discovered that, oh, something is wrong with this software. It's, there's a virus. Let's try and fix it. And they tried to upgrade the software, and they kept adding all kinds of patches. You know, sometimes you upgrade your software, and they send you a new patch and a new patch. One of these patches was called a religion, another patch was called philosophy, another patch was called education, another patch was called save the earth, another patch was called uh, policies and, 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 and politics. But these patches was just not doing the job. The hardware was still dying, and the software, unfortunately, was corrupted by the virus. Now, the person who made this computer realized that something is wrong and I'm going to save this. And the only way to save it was he sent the only antivirus program that can clean the software and save the hardware. But the hardware was about to go. So he said, let me at least save the software with this antivirus program so that we can save the hardware. The, the software, and slowly be able to transfer it to a new, better model. This computer will never, ever have a virus, and it will be totally saved. This basically computer or hardware that was created was this planet that we are living in. It was created perfect, and the virus that was introduced into it was sin. And this sin was so bad that it not only is going to destroy mankind, it was going to destroy the entire planet. And the antivirus program that was sent to us, the only one that can save us, is a person. It's not a religion. His name is Jesus. And I met this antivirus program many years ago. And I'm every day running this antivirus program in my life in the form of prayer, this antivirus program has Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi, <laughs> connected all the time. And daily, you run the program. Not that I'm perfect, none of us will be, but you need to make sure that you get rid of one issue, and that's the area of sin. What is sin? Sin is what, when you're being separated from the real purpose that God has created you for, which is a good purpose. Amen? And that is why today we are not promoting a religion. Honestly, I hate religions. They are so manipulative and sometimes destructive. We are not promoting a church. And if you are not going to a church, I really hope that you'll find one that focuses on a relationship, not on religion. And we are promoting a person, and his name is Christ. And that's why we celebrate his, his birth. Now, Nobody really knows the exact date he was born. Um, some of us in the West, we celebrate Christmas on the 24th. Some of us in the East, we celebrate Christmas on the 25th. And some of us in the other parts of uh, Russia, maybe, we might celebrate it in January. So um, nobody actually knows when Jesus was born. But the fact is that his birth was for the purpose of removing us from this spiral of destruction coming in with an offer of salvation, there's only one name that is given under heaven that can be saved, and that's Jesus Christ. And that's the story of the gospel of IT. And now, how do you download this anti-sin program? <laughs> it's very simple. All you need to say is, Jesus, forgive me. Save me. That's it. You said, ah, but that's too easy. It's never meant to be difficult. It's never, ever meant to be difficult. It's as simple as that. And many of you here, you have that relationship, and I am happy for that. But maybe some of us, it's time to start. And I want to give you that opportunity this morning before we carry on with the song. And you can just pray with me. I'll just invite you to pray, saying, Jesus, I need you in my life. I need this program that you've brought program of salvation to save me. I need this. I receive you into my heart. And I want to help you to be connected to him. 
So, we just take a few moments to pray, and we can just, for a few moments, close our eyes and bow our heads, if that's okay. And pray with me this prayer. I'm going, encouraging everybody to pray with me, and for those of you who are praying this for the first time, just mean it with your heart. Can we have our eyes closed and our heads bowed, and just uh, pray this prayer with me. Father, thank you for sending Jesus. Jesus, thank you for dying for me. I invite you into my heart. Holy Spirit, help me to live a life that will bring glory to God. Amen. Amen. Now, for those of you who prayed that prayer, maybe for the very first time in your lives, I want to encourage you after the meeting, come and meet me. And I have some personal message I want to share with you and encourage you to join a group that will link you to develop this wonderful relationship. It's a person. It's a relationship. It is not a religion. Hallelujah. That was my short, simple IT gospel to you. And uh, please keep on uh, up, up, up downloading this software and uh, get rid of sin in your life and be able to be connected to God. In the meantime, we want to hear more from this wonderful singer called Farida who is going to come and share with us. Thank you. Can you please? Take me to the king that don't have much to bring. My heart is torn in pieces. It's my offering. Take me to the king. Truth is I'm Options are few. I'm trying to pray. Where are you? I'm old church town. Heard and the
everyone. You know, I have to be uh, keeping myself together because otherwise I will go emotional. <laughs> After 20 years knowing some of you, it's not that easy to be just informal or formal. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, who knows what it is? Raise your hand. Oh, not that much. Even the Prague custom service at the airport, they didn't know it. And they suppose that I'm smuggling it from Africa, from some antelope war. And they asked me for the name of the antelope. And I said, it's African antelope. <laughs> and he said, okay, that's okay. Because if I would say another name, which I don't know, they will steal it from me. Okay, so this is uh, the shofar. When you read about it in mainly Old Testament, you will realize that it is mainly used for special occasion. Either it will be calling to war, or celebration, or just putting people together. And I am using it for blessing the meetings I'm attending or congregations I'm in. And the last time it was blown when the Ipaninga Lisa had 50 years anniversary two days before. And before it was blown the shofar at the top of the house of prayer in Jerusalem. Now you will hear the sound, take it as a blessing and use this sound for silent prayer. Maybe you have some secret wishes, you are not willing to share it with others. So during this sound, and I hope it will sound longer than in the celebration of the Ibn Ingeriza, because I was so nervous, so I was not able to make a good sound. <laughs> so I do hope that it will be a little, a little longer. Use this for the blessing, for the prayer, and that it is why it is here for the first time, actually. The last time it will sound in Jerusalem next year during the Bible Championship.
deres åde til fjorden. I den samme egen var der hyrder, som lå ude på marken og holdt nattevagt over deres hjort. Der stod herrens engel for dem, og herrens herlighed strålede om dem, og de blev grebet af stor frygt. Men englen sagde til dem, frygt ikke, se, jeg forkynder jer en stor glæde, som skal være for hele folket. I dag er der født jer en frelser i Davids by. Han er Kristus Herren, og dette er tegnet for, at I skal finde et barn, som er svøbt og ligger i en krybbe. Og med et var der sammen med englen, en himmelsk kærsker, som lov, mystighed og sang. Ære være Gud i det højeste på jorden, fred til mennesker og Guds vilje. Please. 
Thank you.